Recently, while browsing Instagram, I came across a very intriguing reel. As to what it is, well, I'm not too sure. It's almost as if there's a collection of data points scrambling around the image presenting movement lines in a split second, a frame almost, with numerical data related to the movement within that area flicking on screen. It's like AI CCTV footage when we see pedestrians that are scanned and their facial features are recognized. It's created through software called Touch Designer. The software looks like it has a steep learning curve and also a steep entry price. So today, using a few plugins, I'll show you how to do this in After Effects. <laughs> First, you will want to select a clip with a lot of interactive movement, such as a hand touching a plant. You can browse the Fedivo library to find your perfect clip for this. I've downloaded this clip of a weightlifter as he is doing a compound exercise and there is a ton of interconnecting movement between his joints. Perfect for this effect. In After Effects, first identify the individual components that would work well together and then head to the tracking tab. You're going to want to track the motion of said areas. Once complete, create a new null layer and properly name the null so it doesn't get lost. Do this as many times as you can in order to create a good looking network of movement analysis. For myself, after tracking 14 areas of connectivity and applying them to individual nulls, I'm now ready to move to the next step. We're now introducing our first premium plugin known as Connect Layers Pro. Priced at $50, this plugin empowers you to link your After Effects layers using lines in a dynamic fashion. So you can easily generate ropes, spanning trees and triangulations all with one click. With our null layers, we now need to select the corresponding pairs, triplets or multiple connection points to connect, as long as it makes logical sense. For example, connecting the elbows to the wrist or the hands to the bar or the head to the lower back and core. Initially, we're just going to create a few simple connections. With your connections made, duplicate the layers and change the duplicated layer line type to curve and then use the back out preset. The duplicated layer will now have a stretchable rope line attached to it. Add the fill effect on all duplicated layers to change the curvy lines to red. Next, you need to separate the duplicated layers and pair them with a connection module that is different from the duplicate. For example, I have the knee to knee layer here and I will pair it with the mouth and lower back. With the layers correctly positioned, I now want them to appear sequentially, one frame at a time in the selected pairs. So one straight line and one curved line, each from different connection modules. To do this, you're gonna to want to hit opacity and hold Alt while selecting the stopwatch to bring up the expression panel. You can then paste this code which will be noted on the video and article into the panel. Of course, replace the code with the numerical values that make sense to you. In my case, I have 14 layers, seven of which are duplicated. I want the paired layers to last just one frame and then vanish for the next six. This to occur for every paired connection module. In turn, it will create a sequential loop across all layers with each pair lasting just one frame, seven frames in total. Again, this will differ depending on how many layers you have. This expression though will do just that. And it's important to trim the layers above to start one frame forward to keep the loop working. Next, create a small rectangle and then make a text layer of several random numbers and ensure that the text layer is inside of the rectangle. Open the source text parameters, hold Alt and click the stopwatch and insert the following expression. This expression will also be noted on the video comments and the article. This expression will generate a continuous figure of numbers. You're going to then want to pre-compose the numbers and the rectangles and duplicate the pre-composed composition several times and give the pre-composed compositions different names relating to specific connection points in the primary composition. Now offset each pre-composed composition so the number sequence starts at a different point. Then move the composition to the related connection point and parent the pre-composed rectangle and number to the null object of that region. And now the rectangle filled with generated numbers will move with that null object. At this point, when we click play, we could consider the effect complete as it does bear a number of similarities to the original Instagram reel 
However, there are a few more things that we can consider. The first is to add a series of glitch effects to the video. As to what glitch, well that is of to your discretion, but I have added pixel stretcher and a few frames of modulation. But one thing that I feel that looks really good is when we also see the tracking path of the null object. To render this information out, we will need to use another third party plugin, but do not worry as it's only $12 and this one is called Cyclops. When installed, you can open up the extension and select your null objects and select render. It will then deliver a composition version with detailed After Effects information. With these elements combined, I think we get quite close to the original effect. So a tedious effect for sure to try and implement. It is something that's going to take some time for you to get the results that you want. Uh, and I'm sure the number of case studies is also going to be quite limited. Sport is probably going to be of your best use if you want to implement some sort of digital analysis of the athlete. But outside of that, I think it just looks pretty cool and unique. And I think that is quite evident by the original Instagram user who uh, seems to have hundreds of thousands of likes, including one of my favorite cinematographers, Emmanuel Labuski. Well, I've been Lewis with Fidevo. Tune in next week for another tutorial and I will see you guys then.